Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. And as you can see, we are once again joined by the wonderful Angie George. Angie, hello. Hi, nice to be back again. Yeah, it's nice to have you back again. Thank you. Right now, we're going to go straight into it today. Last time you were here, you showed us how to do a beautiful swag or different types of swags. Well, I guess it was one swag, but you can do it in so many different ways made out of flowers. Mm. Similar to this one here, isn't it? It is. So we, you've put that on a, on a three foot balloon. Yep. But we're not here to talk about that today. Today, you're going to show us what's at the bottom of this design that you probably can't see, but we'll put a photo on the screen at the bottom of this design, which is revolves around a hat box, doesn't it? It does. And you just happen to have one there. I've got a smaller version there. All right. So what I've done with this one is I've done a simpler version, so less flowers. Okay. Because I've weighed it in comparison to the lift availability of what the balloon is. All right. So whether it's an orbs, a three foot, and then I weigh what I'm attaching to. Okay. Um, so I know it's weight enough. And then what I've done is I've replicated that with just a single, so it's just like a bunch of it. So it's just the one sided yeah. and attached that. I so see. you've got the design going through it and you've okay. got the lines going through. Okay. All right. okay, so what we're going to do, I've attached that one to the hat box. So you can do that or what I hear people talking about is that why do you have to buy hat boxes in sets of three when we only want the one size? Yes. So, some ideas of what we can do with the other hat boxes. Oh, okay. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, so to add some value as well to your design. So yeah. it might be that you have a customer who has a budget and they just want a single balloon. Okay. But you could try and sell them a different type of weight base yeah, yeah. to try and add value yeah. to, to your yeah. profits as well. I mean, well. that just looks amazingly sophisticated. I think it looks great. Yeah, so, and it's cost next to nothing, really. Yeah, far better than a, you know, I don't so know, what would you normally, what would you use as a weight for a three foot balloon, you know, a brick? Well, I mean, I, I've, I've literally, we used well, bricks some in the early days. Some people put uh, uh, balloon towels and things yeah, on yeah. them and then hired a manufactured weight, or you could build them onto a little stack, yeah, like a, yeah. uh, a mini column or yeah, yeah. a few clusters. So there's lots of different ways, but the hat box is perfect. I and guess I'm going to show you what's inside the hat box. I was just going to say, <laughs> you can put whatever you want inside a hat box. Exactly, and you can hide it. Yes. And if it's if it's quite heavy and you want that as a display afterwards, you can actually hot glue the rim and yeah. hot glue the lid on. Yeah. So no one actually sees what's in your hat box. Very good. I look forward to seeing so, what's in your hat box. There you go. <laughs> I just have that. I remember there was a scene. Remember there was an old film called Seven. Did you ever see that? It was a really scary film back in the 1990s. No. And they opened a, a, a box and there was somebody's head in there. Oh. It's like, yeah, so okay. I'm a bit scared. What no, are you going to no, show no, me no, no, in no, that no, box no. now? I can assure you, Grave, there's no heads in okay, here. Okay, good, good. I mean, that would be quite a small head, wouldn't it? So. so what I've done is I've actually glued this one on oh, so right, that you okay. can actually see how solid that is. All right. So that's gone through into the box? Yes. So this is attached to the weight. So what I would have done is I would have attached that in there first. I really want to know I what the weight is. I attach the, rib, the balloon to that one. What's the weight? What is it? Oh, you're not going to tease surprise, me, are you? Surprise. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's All do right. a bit, we'll do a bit of Scylla Black, shall we? So we're going to demonstrate one here. Oh, here's one that's got a balloon attached right. already. Well, it's only resting underneath, so we cheated a bit. So what I've done here, I've decided just to put a bit of colour into it, we're going to take one of the floral heads, yep. so just a single head, and it's really nice actually. I didn't realise when I was choosing, but these are the Ukraine colours. Oh yeah, so they are. So that's quite nice that to have really the nice. yellows yeah. and blues together. Yeah. So, yeah. And I'm going to actually get you to turn a bow today. <gasps> okay. Yep, you'll do it. You'll I, do I, I, I mean, you're not giving me much of a choice, you just said it now. So. <laughs> So what's nice about these hat boxes is that you've got the plastic container inside, yep. which is for your oasis if you was doing a floral arrangement, yeah, etc. Yeah. But all I've done is I've made a water weight. Oh, I see. And even if it was to go wrong, it'd be fine. Yeah. Or you could use a bag of pebbles, a bag of marbles, yeah. depending on what balloon you're putting on. So obviously that's got more, more pull to yeah, it. Yeah. So you'd need something bit yeah. more I mean that weight's a bit too big for it but it's it's it fine yeah so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the lid actually I'm going to get you to hold my balloon okay yeah probably makes sense thank you <laughs> and all I'm going to do Ooh, is just 
My I mean, fingers you know what you're doing. You know. Oh, yeah, miles Sorry, away. I'm panicking. So no roughly centre. Don't worry if it's not completely centre. Make a hole in the top. And then what we can do is we can just feed that through from the top. I'm going to do this lower. Yeah. Only because of the height Cameras we've got here, but obviously you would take it up. You could have it as a floor display, a, yeah. a table arrangement, because yeah. that's still within the height range yeah. of doing a centerpiece. Okay. So, so all I'm going to do now is come in here, uh, take it a fraction higher, and then I'm just going to tie it to my water weight. I didn't knock that then, you did didn't, I? No. It's because I haven't got my glasses on. That's all right. I'm trying <laughs> to. I'm trying to work work blind. I'm like that. Where are my glasses? Dad, they're on your head. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to knock that in nicely. I mean, if it was if it was something smaller that you was doing and you didn't need such a heavy weight, you could actually just tie the knot here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And let it come up. But this way, it's it's still attached to the nice um, and solid. Nice and solid. Yeah. So let's just snip that bit off. Pop that in here. Now, what I would do at this stage, because sometimes if you've got quite a pull, which is what this one has, yeah, it could lift the lid off. Yeah. Yeah. as it's pulling slightly. So just put little dobs of glue in the rim, the hot glue. In fact, we can do that now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Have By the go. way, if anybody is interested in knowing what the liftability of various balloons are, you can head to balloonmarket.co.uk, hit our useful resources banner, and there is a liftability section in there. Perfect. Yeah, it's very good. It's surprising, actually, what the liftability is yeah, on some of these. Yeah, I know, I know. It always um, amazed me when we used to do balloon in a box, and um, I think foil balloons had a three gram liftability, but a latex balloon, an 11 inch latex balloon, had something like 13 grams it could lift. Yeah. And it's amazing because they fill up more or less, it feels like the same it, amount of space. That's right, but, it's, but not. it's not. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, but it's always, I mean, I've always got a set of scales next to me. Yeah. So if I'm attaching things to balloons, I will always weigh what I'm putting on my balloon yeah. or in my balloon yeah. so that I can compare it to the liftability. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it really simple. So if you have a look at this one here, obviously that's the ribbon that you would tie your balloons to. Mm -hmm. So I've just put one big flower head, a little sprig coming out the side, just so that you've got a line and a bit of interest. Yeah. So here's your focal area and you've, you've just got some yeah. bits radiating from it. Yeah. So like the bow. That's lovely. I love that. I love the yeah. colour. So very wedding-y. It is. It is. So, it's very nice. But you can change it. So you could do it to like a Halloween or a Christmas flower or yeah. the Christmas boxes. Yeah. So change the theme and the yeah. colour of the flower to whatever. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to poke this one into the hole. Like so. How easy is this? That is. <laughs> and then we're just going to get this lovely jip that you've got. What's it called? Gypsophilia. That's what I thought. Jip, or it, common, uh, known as baby's breath. Some people know it as baby's breath. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, every day's a school day. Let's just, would help if I cut that bit off. I don't think we need all of that in there. Why is it called baby's breath? Oh. That I don't know. All right. I don't know where it originates from. So, best person to ask is a florist. Yeah. They'll probably know all the Latin names. And I'm not a qualified florist. I've done floral design. I learned some of the Latin names, but... You know what? I know I normally ask you the question of the week, but I think that should be the question of the week. Why is gyps, oh. whatever it's called... Gypsophilia. Gypsophilia, called baby's breath. Hmm? Yeah, That's we'll make that the question of the week. Yeah, Leave your comments down below on Facebook there you YouTube. Go. So all I'm going to do is again, just put my glasses on. Yeah. Just 
feed that in as well. I can do a second piece in there. Wow, that's so simple. And look how look how nice that looks. Yeah. With because what you're doing is you're radiating out from the yeah. focal point. Yeah. What I find when you've got focal points, and even if you're doing balloons, you know, like you do the hoop, mm -hmm. and you're putting the the colours through. Colour is like creating line, mm. just like here. And sometimes you get full stops yeah. in your colours. Okay. Where what you want to try and do is create that nice wavy line going through it, and ah. without the pauses between, and that creates your rhythm and your harmonies. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so we've got that in and all I'm going to do now is I am going to blob just a little bit of hot glue in there just to hold it in place all the right. florals can I do that yep go on then you can have a go at that just in there so yep just blob some hot glue in okay yep. get more that's it oh, and that will hold it really does come out very liquidy doesn't it and that will set whilst we're tying okay our bow oh, we're gonna, can I turn this off now yes yeah, I'm can. just really worried about this this very hot gun yeah. I'll, put, I'll put it down here put it down there because I think we can just use a little blob to attach a ribbon to it okay and it will, will still be warm enough so we're just going to put that there for now so we're going to learn to tie a bow are we now we are let's, let's move this out of the way so everybody can see what you're doing okay um I'm going to cut you a piece so you can tie a bow as well I can try to tie a bow your piece I can tie a knot. You can tie a knot. Well, that's good. Your All shoes right. won't fall off then. <laughs> okay, so what you're going... Are you right-handed? Yes. Okay. So, put out your left hand. And then, if you take your towel and just hold it with your, your three fingers there. I like that. Okay. Okay. So, now what we're uh, going to do, we're going to bring this, this one. Yeah. Round the thumb. Round the thumb. Oh. And in front of the index finger. Oh, no, it's got to come around here. Okay. Round the thumb. All right. That's it. And then in front of the index finger. Yeah. Now, round the index finger. Yeah. And forward. And cross like That's that. That's it. Now, you're, what you're going to do with this towel is you're going to come under this, this one here that you're holding. Yeah. And then under that hoop that you've made just there. Okay. So you're going to put it through to the back. Okay. If I can do this, everybody... Anybody can do it. This is where I, it goes wrong. <laughs> no, it won't. It won't. Okay. So now what you're going to do is pull it forward. Pull it forward. And then this hoop here that you've made. Yep. That one there, you're going to tuck that under that hoop. Yeah. And pull it through. Oh, you've lost me there. This, this one here. There. Yeah, the hoop that you've just made. Yeah, this so this, this one here. So if you just loosen that okay. off a bit, right. then you can come up and through. Up and through, like that. That's all right. So pull it through. Put, that's it, and pull the tail right the way through. Oh, I thought I'd gone wrong. I got it, it, got it, got it, got it. And then just pull that forward and just give it a tug. And now, if you take that off your fingers and turn it around, you have got... The perfect. It's, it's not the perfect, but look at mine. Oh. <laughs> well, all you do. Half is bigger than the other half. Okay, so. Um, wiggle it. Flip it. So well, it's kind doing, of a bow. You're fluffing it up. It's an organic bow. It's there not, you go. So look at that. Okay, all right. You'll be doing all the Christmas present wrapping. Absolutely. I'll be Christmas. doing exactly You'll that. You'll be putting, doing bows. Okay. So what we can do is we can add both our bows onto okay. it, shall we? Let's bring this back. We're so going we're to cut we're, a bit off. Are you going yeah, to do that? Yeah, well, I think on? what we could do is if we put... Let's see what it looks like double, shall we? Okay. Shall we have a look, see what two look like in there? Do you need the glue gun back? Yeah, and we're just glue gun there. So if you just put a little dob of glue in there... That's it. And then you can stick that one on. It might be hot though, in there. Angie. I'm, I'm really worried. Yeah, well, if you hold it then, like this, and then just... Oh, there you go. You've done it now. Yeah. If you want to, you can get oh, your... Oh, that is warm. Yeah, so you could get your scissors and, and push down or get a, get something, a stick or a, a chopstick yeah, or something yeah. to, to hold down with. And then, let's see where this one's... Should we sit that one there like that, okay. do you think? 
So if you just, just put a blob of glue in the middle there. Just there. Uh, yep. And then you can have a go place in that one. I'll do the dangerous work, Angie, don't you worry. And then here, look, use All that right, okay. stem there to press down on it. And then that will just dry and hold in place. Now you... Oh, oh. you say it will. That's all right, we'll press down on oh. that. Asbestos fingers. Yeah. <laughs> they do get used to it, I must admit. So now what we can do is we can just cut these okay. to the lengths that we want them. So you can, let's do a that style this time, shall we? Cut them at different lengths, just to create a bit of interest. I'll let you cut that last one. I'm getting quite into this, doing stuff. This is proper hands-on day, is isn't it? This is proper hands-on. Oh. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> but it gives you the idea. And then what we've done here, see, you can bend these to create them to what way you want them to flow. Yeah. We've added just a little bit of the jip here yep. and the yellow ribbon. Another bar. The blue is coming through the design, so you're getting the unity yeah. there. We've got the blue ribbon coming through and then we've replicated there. That is lovely. So it's a nice way. That's the smaller box. So that's that's the medium sized box. That that's the medium the big one, one. And that's the smaller one. Where I've just chosen a slightly smaller flower. And you've used a different kind of ribbon. Yeah, I've just used it. You can use any ribbons. Yeah. I think what you can do is just look at the ribbon to what flower you're using, what balloon you're tying. Um, yeah, that is fantastic. I love it, Angie. There you go. So simple and so effective. Gun so you don't yeah, burn yourself. I don't want to burn myself. Risk assessment. Indeed. <laughs> you keep mentioning risk assessments. What, tell me about risk assessments. Well, the, th the thing is, I mean, it's a common thing now in hotels. I mean, you cannot walk into a hotel on a, uh, for event styling yeah. without showing your risk assessment. Okay. Um, obviously, all your insurance policies and yeah, everything else. Yeah. So that people have got really hot on that. So how do you do a risk assessment? Is it is it something you can just download? Is it something you can... You can. Um, do you... I mean, one of, one of the things that is really helpful, you can go to um, Health and Safety Exec. Okay. And they do some templates that, okay. that you can use. But you make that more specific to what it is you do. Of course okay. you do, yeah. Okay. And you only have to risk assess what you're going to put into the event. Okay. Now, if you're learning and you're new to the industry, risk whilst you're training, and whenever you're playing, experimenting, risk assess everything you touch. Yeah, yeah. Because then when you come to do a risk assessment, it's so much easier. Yeah, yeah. So, Good tip. And obviously, where you're teaching in college, you're risk assessing all yeah, the time yeah. because of obviously student safety. It just sounds really official, doesn't it? It sounds like it's a really big thing, but it's really just looking at it's what the risk it's, is. It's, and, just, and it's uh, common sense yeah. thinking, well, what's the case, worst case scenario? Like the hot glue. Yeah. What is the worst case scenario? You can get a really good burn from yeah. that. So the risk assessment, what would you do to yeah. prevent it? Well, like you said earlier, you know, have a we'll have a little bowl of water. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we wouldn't put it near the electrics yeah. because yeah. water and electric doesn't go together, but you've got something. And then obviously we turn the glue off yeah. when it's not being used and we yeah. keep it out of reach of, you know, so just risk assess everything. Very cool. Cool. Um, yeah. Anyway, Angie, thank you so much. That's been uh, really, really interesting. Thank you. I've enjoyed it. Good. And thank you, everybody out there for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time we upload a new show. And please check us out on Instagram as well and give us a follow on there. Right? No, no. You know what I forgot? Question of the week. You've done that. I know I've done it, but we should do it again. Okay. What's the question of the week, Angie? Uh, why is, <laughs> why is, so why is gypsophilia called baby's breath? Yeah, leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. I nearly <laughs> forgot then. Uh, <laughs> stay safe, stay happy, and I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Thanks, bye. Bye.